the Illinois D was strong enough for head coach Lou Tepper to predict that if the Illini could score 28 points, they would win. Some anticipated this trip to Champaign might have its moments, but no one suspected the storybook tale that would be witnessed. The saga began on the first drive when the Lions turned it over and set up the Illini. Johnson to Dosser, touchdown Illinois, moves the ball on the right side. The strange twist continued when Collins was intercepted deep in Penn State territory. Illinois added another, running straight at a stunned Penn State defense. Before the first quarter ended, Illinois had the ball again. And a horror story was unfolding. Back to pass goes Johnny Johnson. Has lots of time. Giving ground. Giving ground. Looking. Throwing into the end zone to a man. Touchdown, Illinois. With their backs to the wall, Paterno looked to his offense. And they gave this to Carter. Going wide to the right. He turns the corner at the 10. He's at the 15 and out to the 20 for a first down. Kyle Brady was determined to pick up his teammates. He's got Brady down the middle at the 40. He comes back into the 45. He's at the 50. He's still on his feet at the 45. Collins was back on track. Play action pick. Collins looking. Throws again to Kyle Brady. Brady spins away from the tackle and gets a first down. The offense turned the game around with a 99-yard drive. And they go to Mill, and Mill is in the end zone. Pitch that touchdown, Brian Mill. With momentum shifting, the coaches went for the jugular. No, fake reverse. Drawing deep for Freddie Scott. He's down there. Touchdown, Penn State. The deficit was slowly being cut down by a relentless offense. Maintaining its poise. Penn State had pulled to within seven midway through the third. Johnny Johnson is a gift on the reverse action to Dowser. Dowser's being chased by Diesel. He turns the corner to the 40 to the 45. First down in Penn State territory. The come from behind story would take another twist as Illinois drove the ball to a first and goal. Another touchdown might be too much this late. The defense held it to a field goal. But time was running out. Penn State was down 10 with only 10 minutes left. Driving into Illinois territory, Penn State faced a fourth and two. Paterno said go. Producing the first of several do-or-die scenarios. You gotta throw it, Kerry. Throws complete to Bobby Aker. He breaks the tackle at the 20. He's at the 15 yard line. My goodness. Setting up one of the story's heroes. There's a gift straight ahead to Mill. Touchdown, Penn State. With time running out, Penn State needed the ball. The defense faced the next do-or-die situation. And in motion goes the wing back left, and he turns around and comes back right. And straight back to pass goes Johnson. Three-man rush for Penn State. He dumps it off to Douthert, and he dumps for a loss back at the 27-yard line. They responded with a three-and-out series, forcing Illinois to give up the ball. But yet another twist awaits. The punt with the wind is a high spiral. Oh, it's going to go over Mike Archie's head. He's going to let it hit, and it's rolling all the way down to the five-yard line inside the five at the four. Now all that stood in the way was the number one rated defense. 96 yards, a stiff win, light rain, and a ticking clock. Any mistake would end it. And there's a pass complete to Kyle Brady for the first down at the 18-yard line. The Illinois defense dug in, grudgingly giving up yardage. But Penn State patiently moves upfield. 
If they get to Carter on the counter, he breaks the tie. He's at the 50. He's at the 45 and has a first down inside the 45 in Illinois territory. With full confidence in its offense, the coaches used all their weapons. There would be no tomorrow. Play action, back to pass. Kyle to Terry Collins throws is complete at the 18-yard line. Ever determined, with the rain still in their face, they could now see the end. Collins approached the ball with confidence. Split set in the backfield, Mill and Carter. Single coverage on Ingram. Terry Collins looks, looks, looks. Throws over the middle. Caught by Ingram at the 10-yard line. 90 yards later and now with a minute left. It came down to a nose-to-nose -nose confrontation. They got Kajana Carter on the wing left and in motion to the right. And they give to Bill. Touchdown, Penn State! Yes, sir! Never in doubt! Motion, they followed him a little bit. Hey, Brian Mill has become a complete football player. The saga in Champaign wasn't over yet. It squeezed out even more drama when Illinois drove back. For Penn State, they're going to throw a screen to Douthert. It's to the left side. He breaks one tackle, gallops for another, and is still on his feet out to the 41-yard line. With the clock stop now that the chains will be moved. A big run. Two timeouts. Good call, though. Now, both sides desperately cling to their hopes. He's fading back to pass. He's looking. He's throwing over the middle. It's caught for a first down at the 46-yard line in Penn State territory by Jasper Strong. It came to one last play in this bizarre drama. We're going to put three wide outs. Right. Same, same uh, offensive for me. They're going to throw it up to Grant. Now, somebody has to just be there to knock that ball down. Can't give him too much time. And they're, they're coming. coming. They're coming. Willie Smith's after him. He's throwing into the end zone. Intercepted. Heston wins the ball game. Kim Harry kicked it off. California. Here we come. <laughs>